Okay. I'm sure like a lot of you, you have lots of time on your hands and you can sew and you want to be able to help. I had asked the, a local medical facility and they wanted masks to go over their N95s. So I designed this pattern because the requirements were they had to completely fit, cover the N95s. They wanted them lightweight because they're already hard to breathe through. So no extra filters. If possible, they wanted designs for men and women. Uh, be able to be machine washable and dryable. They didn't care, but their uniform colors were black and red. And so I had ma material in those colors. And so I just made them to match their uniforms. And I did varieties. I also made them reversible. And they have nose clips so that they bend around the nose piece at the top. You can download this pattern at the bottom. I am slow, so it probably took me about 20 minutes to make a mask. Uh, but I did it factory fashion where I cut out all of the pieces first, then I sewed the front seams on all of them, etc. I find it really helpful by having the um, right sides together when I cut them out. And then I just made a pencil mark at the top. And then your next step is going to be sewing the front and back at the top. And then since I did not want to go shopping out for wire for my nose pieces, I had extra garbage bag ties and I place them at the top just make sure that they're centered there and then you turn them inside out and I use three pins and and then just top stitch around the top and then I uh, went back and forth both sides so that my tie would not move up and down and then it holds the shape around your nose then go back and turn them right sides together again and then sew the bottom and this time you're going to have to turn it inside out like a tube and then top stitch along the bottom. And as a lot of you know, elastic is really hard to find. And so I had some double folded bias tape and I just cut them out 35 inches and I just sewed these on the edges on both sides. I pressed after each step. I thought it made it easier. And remember, all my seams were one quarter of an inch. The top stitching might have been like three eighths of an inch. Thank you.